What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu walkthrough. Okay, so in this episode right here, we would normally go straight to Future City Gym. Yeah, we would do that. But since we're low on funds and we kind of need to battle to get some more funds, I was kind of thinking maybe we should take care of two things, two big, big things, and that is... The long road back to Lavender, which is Route 13, 12, 11, you know, those routes. And quite possibly visit maybe Saffron City. I don't know. I was kind of thinking crazy right now because, uh, yeah, you know, I, I kind of feel underleveled going into this next gym battle. I really do. So I kind of want to better prepare myself. So we're going to be going to the, well, the next route. Now, before we leave... In the last episode, or two episodes ago, I forgot to do this. Forgot to give this guy his golden teeth. Go ahead, give him his golden teeth. And look at that. The warden popped his teeth back in, and he is happy. He's like, yuck, they're all sandy and gritty. Anyway, thanks, Sonny. You're a real lifesaver. No one could understand a word I said, not one. I was too ashamed to show my face around the office even. Let me give you something for your trouble. We get ourselves a safari set from the warden, and of course, it's the clothing, and he's like, And here, I'll teach you something neat, a secret technique called Strong Push. And Pikachu, of course, he's like, Really? Secret technique? What's this, Sonny? You'd rather have your Pokemon learn the secret technique? Sure. Well, I suppose it makes no difference to me. Now come this way and have a look. Look at this. It's gonna break something right here. You must find big blocks, like this one in the cave, other such places, right? You can push them around if you take a moment to gather your strength first. That's right, Edgar, that's right. Trick this. Hook, grit, your teeth, as hard as you can, if you can get them. That all at once, let a rip. Big board. Don't push my core, okay? Sparkly learned the strong push, which of course I'm trying to do like a bad impersonation to a kung fu movie right here. Hui! Look at that. Learning strong push is just one goal. Your Pikachu's a clever one, Sonny. Now he can talk normally. Well, let's go right ahead and see what we got right here. Let's go ahead and press this right here. And to the big block, do you want to push this? Yes, we do. And let's see this secret technique. And... Well, Pikachu has learned a strong technique or strong push, and look at that, just pushes everywhere, and uh, would you look at that, it's a Diglett. Dig! And this Diglett will give us, of course, a Nugget, which is good. I think this guy will give us something every day, so just make sure to keep, keep an eye out for that one right there. So, anywho. What we were getting to, yes, we're going to be going into the next route and we're going to be battling a buttload of trainers because we want to train our Pokemon. Not only that, but that will open up a lot more avenues for me to capture off screen. That way, you know, my Pokemon are nice and trained, you know, that kind of stuff. Now, before we do anything, let's go right here. Take a look at this. Professor Oak's aid is right here. Now, if you talk to this guy, whew, Fuchsia City is just full of rare Pokemon. You're not allowed to catch any of them, though. Apparently, they belong to the city. Well, that is true. And here he is. Ha! Huh, remember me? I'm one of Professor Oak's assistants. The professor told me if your Pokedex has a good data of 50 species of Pokemon, I'm to give you a wonderful item. So Draven, let me ask you. Have you gathered data for at least 50 Pokemon? Yes, I have. Dot, dot, dot. Look at that. Yes. You've caught 88 species. Congratulations. Take this wonderful item and... Whoa, hold on. Oh, I don't have it. D d did I lose it? Oh, sorry. What should I do? I, I don't have anything I can give you. I know. Whoosh. The hell? Dot, dot, dot. Whew. Okay, here it is. And he gives us the assistance set. Wow. This is new. I made adjustments on my lab coat for you and your Pokemon. My precious lab coat. Please wear it with care. Well. Okay. All right. We needed a new set of clothes. Okay, so that's fine. And we're looking at the binoculars, and there is a small island in the horizon. That could be a seafoam islands. And this one right here, a large shiny bird is flying towards the sea. Hmm. I wonder what that bird could be. 
Okay, so let us move forward right here, guys, and just uh, get get this over with. Really, there are two things in this game that I really want, would love to not true not do is go straight to this route right here to Fuchsia City, and uh, well, pretty much the Silph Co because yeah, it's just a lot. So let's go right ahead and start training our Pokemon. Of course. Training our Pokemon usually means, uh, you know, capturing more Pokemon. The only problem is we don't have, we don't have, uh, whatchamacallit, a lot of Pokeballs to actually capture these guys. I think I saw a Tauros right there, so keep that in mind right there. So here we go, going up against uh, Bird Keeper Dodrio uh, er Erdwin and stuff, and well, here we go. A good old buddy Smasher, ready to kick some butt. Let's go with a bite attack. Of course, ground type moves do not work on this guy, so we're biting. Here's thrashing. Look at that. That's strong. Okay, so let's go right ahead and body slam this guy. Here we go. Body slam for the win. Look at that. Dodrio has been defeated. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Look at that. And Erwin has been defeated. And yes, look at all those Pokeballs right there. So pretty good and uh, wow there is a Tauros right there I'm gonna capture it I'm gonna try and capture it <sighs> damn it's tiny so this is a this is an issue right here because again I do not have ultra balls I am going to be struggling just a tad bit right here let's go god dang it okay there we go come on I've seen miracles happen one two three ah damn you Okay, come on. You can do this. Let's go with a pin at Barry right here. Now again, a few... Uh, well, off screen, I, I was capturing uh, Pikachus by combinations. And by doing that, it actually maximizes the Pokemon candy plus the berries that you get. That's the reason why I have so many berries and all that stuff. So, come on. Damn you, freaking Tauros. All right. We gotta, we gotta beg to this guy right here. So, come on. Ooh, I was about to throw that, and damn. Let's do this. Come on. Stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. Damn you, freaking Tauros. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's go with a Nana Berry. All right. Here we go. You are now under my spell. All righty. Come on. Stay in the ball. Stay in the Gundam ball. Hit the ball! Damn! Yeah, this guy is not going to be captured just like this with a with a premier ball. So I might have to go get myself some more Pokeballs right here. And good God! Yeah, if we had a Ultra Ball, this would have been easy. Okay, come on. God dang it. Come on! There we go. Nice. Stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. Stay in your ball. Come on! Yes! Look at that, guys. I'm throwing out the peace sign. I don't care what anybody says. I got this Pokeball. Pokemon, I should say. And look at that. Dragonair grows to level 47, which is great. And... Uh, well, let's go ahead and take a look at our newest Pokemon, Tauros. The Wild Bull Pokemon. A rowdy Pokemon with a lot of stamina. Once running, it won't stop until it hits something. That kind of sucks, and it's kind of true if you're playing Pokemon uh, uh, Sun and Moon. So, well, this is what I'm going to do right now. I'm seeing a lot of rare Pokemon. I am going to go back to the Pokemart. Again, this is kind of like a throwaway episode right here, just so I can talk to you guys, you know, it, you know, be cool and everything. And, uh, you know, um, I'm not going to go at it alone. I will be, I will be battling with my uh, partner trainer right here soon because... I just realized, yeah, we pr we should probably use that partner trainer just to, you know, get get by right here. So, let's go straight to this guy and let's sell that nugget that we just got. So, let's see. There we go. Nugget. There we go. And uh, Honestly, we really don't need the uh the rare candies. Where the hell is it? Yeah, we really don't need rare candies, but you know what, I'm going to save that for later, just for a Pokemon that I could use in Evolution. So, let's go straight for... Well, let's go ahead and buy as many. Yeah. Yeah, that's not a lot of uh, Great Balls right here, and, well... 
Ultra Balls. We're probably just going to buy five of them. Good golly. Okay. So, we're going to have to buy some more stuff. Or we're going to have to actually, you know... We're actually going to have to battle some more Pokemon trainers. So this is the reason to why I'm doing this, guys, because good God. And this might take maybe three or four parts. I don't know. Nah, maybe just three, depending on how, how I do right here. So here are back to Route 15, and we're just going to... Uh, we're just going to go right here. Now, excuse me while I uh, do something right here. So, I see a, I see a Pokemon right there that's very familiar. I'm not going to stay here all the whole entire time trying to capture all these Pokemon. But I am going to, you know, add to the collection eventually right here. So, here we are. That happened. And... There we are. Here's our other trainer. So, oh, dang! Okay, so it turns out they, it turns out that you can actually find these Pokemon pretty quickly. Never mind. So let's go with an Ultra Ball, and let's see. Try not to waste none of these things right here. So there we go. Get in there. Come on, stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. Damn you, freaking Tauros! All right. How about this? There we go. Come on. What if I capture it with my other trainer? That would be hilarious. Yeah, one Pokeball is not going to work, so... Let's go ahead and not waste these Ultra Balls. Again, there's going to be some rare Pokemon right here. There we go. That's great. Come on. Stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. Damn you. Mmm. Okay, so we're going to run away. We're wasting a lot of time right here. We're going to capture these guys eventually off screen, so let's just continue right here. Look at that. Wow, it's like we were in the Safari Zone. Okay, so let's just move on right here. And the Route 15 to West of Fuchsia. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm actually going to be switching out Pokemon right here. Let's go ahead and move. Let's go ahead and use Sparky. And actually, hold on. Let's go with Mew de Uno. I'm going to be tag teaming everybody right here. So let's go ahead. And here's a lady looking at it. I raised Pokemon for protection because I live alone. You don't say. Whew. Okay, so here we are. A two-on-one battle against Beauty Lana. And she will be coming out with three Pokemon. And, well, it's going to be a two-on-one battle right here. Alrighty. Let's do this. Uh, let's try out our newest move, Splishy Splash. Splishy Splash, and um, I don't know if Mew's going to get any time to attack, so I'm just going to go with the Dark Pulse right here. So as you can see, Splishy Splash is Pikachu on a surfboard doing that. And for some strange reason, Growlithe gets shocked, I guess. I don't know. And, well, Dark Pulse fails, and here comes another Growlithe. Well, it's obvious that she would actually get herself a Growlithe just, be, just for this specific reason right here. So let's go Splishy Splash, and let's not hit anybody with a Dark Pulse right here. So here we go again. Splishy Splash. Look at that. Oh my god. This is great. This is freaking great right here. So look at that. Uh, everybody's getting levels, and Dark Pulse is missing. We're having no big issues. And we're just going to keep on doing the same thing over and over until we beat these persons, okay? So, there we go. Dark Pulse attack. Let's get this. Look at that. Ooh, Team Rocket for the win. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Okay. Alrighty. I heard that there was a, a Pokemon hack game that was all about Team Rocket. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. Because if that is the case, trust me, I will not play it. Because we've already did our, we've already put our hands on a hat game. Didn't like it. And look at that, we found ourselves a hyper Pokemon. Be moving on uh, away from these goddamn uh, these Pokemon right here. Okay, so there we go. Maneuver our way. Hey, <laughs> it won't hit my, it won't hit my Pokemon. And so let's go ahead and battle this guy. Fork over all the cash when you lose to me, kid. Oh, whatever you say, Hawk. Whatever you say. So, here we go, going up against Punk Guy Alex, and he's coming out with his Cobra, I mean Arbok. And, well, I'm coming with Mew de Uno, and, 
Well, let's go right ahead and uh, go with Floaty Fall. Well, this guy right here takes care of the... This guy right here takes care of the Arbok with the Psy Wave. So, Floaty Fall. Look at that. Go, go, goes up on a balloon and then just does this. Look at that. And just to finish this guy off, here we go. Psy Wave Attack does the trick. Now, I get it. It is a two-on-one battle. It is so unfair, but hey, I need to get... I need to get going with this whole space right here. It's a lot of freaking space that we need to go over. So that guy's done, and we're going to be continuing going up against another punk guy. Hey, kid, come on. I just got these off uh, some loser. Hmm. What do you mean, these losers? Okay. Alrighty, so punk guy Ernest wants the battle, and he's going to be coming out with a primate right here. Okay. We got this. Easy, okay, easy money. Let's go. Floaty fall, and well, let's go ahead and uh, use a fly attack right here. Mainly for the next Pokemon that will come up. So here we go. Floaty fall does its trick. Primeape has been defeated. Yes. Look at that. Now, Pikachu might be a little over leveled, but it is, you know, it is cool. And here we go with the fly attack. We're waiting for the next Pokemon right here, and here's Mock. Alrighty, okay. Let's go Thunderbolt. So, it might not defeat it, may not, and uh, yeah, look at that. It's paralyzed, okay. So here comes the fly attack, look at this. Does the same thing as Floaty Fall, and we are victorious. Oh yeah, these two make a very good team. Very darn good team, alrighty. And we're getting more money, which means more Pokeball money and all that crud. So let's move on. Grabbing this, we got ourselves three Ultra Balls, which, yeah, could be useful. And we're going to be doing uh, this at Route 14. Now, I did see a Coach Trainer, so we're going to just cut this through. Now, remember, in the last episode, the last two episodes, we got ourselves two new secret techniques uh, for Pikachu. So now we're in the clear with uh, all these uh, secret uh, techniques and all that stuff. And so far, we haven't found anything. So let's go ahead and take on this coach trainer. The trainers around here are all very strong. That's right. I've trained every single one of them. I assume you want to get strong. Shall I be, shall I be, uh, be your uh, battle opponent? Sure. Okay, so let's get it. Another opponent. And that happens to be this wonderful lady. Coach trainer Midge from That 70s Show. Wanting to come out with, yes sir, yes sir, Machoke. So let's go, Machoke. Let's uh, let's do the same thing. So this Pokemon's at level 40. The first one of its, of the well, first level 40 that we've battled so far. So let's go right ahead and use Floaty Fall. Look at this, Floaty Fall, basically fly attack for Pikachu. This Machoke is no more. Oh yes. Oh uh, yeah. Okay, alrighty, and Mew de Uno. Rose to level 49, which is great. And all the Pokemon are learning. Here we go with a fly attack from you, just for this occasion. And here comes Magmar. Alrighty. I got a good mood for this guy right here. Splishy Splash. I like saying that. Splishy Splash to Surfboard. Let's go, Puka. <laughs> and here comes that fly attack, just to finish off this Magmar. Look at this. Oh, yes. Magmar has been defeated. That's right, butthead. We defeated you. Okay, and Midge defeated. I feel good about that one, too. And, well, I see the flame of your potential in you. Let me give you this team, TM worthy of your skill. We get ourselves TM31 Fire Punch, a very good fire type move. And, well, I may have a Pokemon that could use that move. And, oh, crud. All right. There we go. Okay, I gotta shake this again. Okay, so she just jumped out of her her space right here. She wasn't a, she wasn't gonna be able to do anything. So let's move on ahead. We're just walking and walking, and yes, we're her. Alrighty, let's do this. So we are challenged by Yasmin. Believe it or not, that is the name of one of my good friends' his wife. I feel bad because I am going to beat her in a Pokemon battle, and she happens to be very competitive. So, let's go with the Floaty Fall and Mew Do You Know. Let's go on standby right here with the Fly. 
So I think I found a combination for this. Just one, one two punch right here. Just one, one two punch right here. Look at this, one two punch. Yes, sir. So anywho, guys, I did make this. I am making this episode just to talk to you guys just a little bit. Uh, let's see. First thing is first. Yes, in my channel, I have been, I have been posting up videos almost every single day now, just because. Well, I've recorded enough episodes to get by right here. And I hope you guys are enjoying every single one of those episodes. I know that, you know, making these episodes does not please everybody. Trust me. I will not be pleasing everybody. I, uh, you know, but making these episodes right here for you guys is something for me to just, you know, just to, it's, it's a little bit of a hobby because, yes, I've quote-unquote returned back to work. And since I don't have football right now, which, you know, right now, right now means, like, right now, right now. Saturdays and Fridays and all that stuff. And look at that, TM47 Surf. A very good move, which, uh, you know what, I'm going to be teaching to a Pokemon right now. So let's go to the TM case. And let's use that Surf Attack. Let's give that to Leonardo for the time being, because uh, it needs a more powerful Surf Attack, or more powerful Special Attack. And, well, it is even on both attacks right here. So let's go ahead and take away uh, Bubble Beam. Alrighty, look at that. Bubble Beam's taken away. And, well, let's see. Fire Punch. Let's see. We're going to give that to Smasher for right now. That way it can uh, actually have a better move than just uh, Bite Attack. I do have other Pokemon with Dark-type moves, so there we go. Moving that around, and bam. Okay. So, let us move on right here. Now, like I was saying, yes, this, uh, YouTube is just a hobby for me, guys. Just like many, many others who would do YouTube as well. Uh, again, a lot of the dislikes that I may get, uh, it doesn't really affect me because it's, it's just, you know, you're not going to please everybody. You really aren't. Uh, and if for those who are, want, are coming into YouTube wanting to be perfect and all that stuff, again, you're not going to please everybody. So... You know, that's the, that's the name of the game. If, if you have a majority of a gathering or a following liking your videos, then you're, you must be doing something right. And I kind of feel like I am just because, you know, you guys are coming in the last month or during this whole pandemic or ever since this pandemic started, I've gained about a thousand subscribers. So that's, that's great right there. So again, thank you guys for, you know, being so uh, loving and uh, being so patient with all my videos. Now, shoot, what am I going to do next? Like, I am playing Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. Eventually, it will... We're close to the end. Kind of close to the end. The legendary Pokemon speak for itself. Uh, shoot. What else is there? Yeah, you'll be you'll be battling uh, Mew. Mewtwo, I, I should say. And uh, there's other things that you can do in this game which I will try and get to eventually. And, well, look at that. Sand Slash grows to level 46. Leonardo to level 45. And uh, Fly has failed. Good God. So here comes the Sand Slash. Regular Sand Slash, by the way. So yeah, uh, I'm going to try and complete as much as possible into this game right here because I have looked into what will happen at the after games. And trust me, there's quite a few things, new added things that you can actually find right here. Um, as for any other games that I may have, like Pokemon X, Pokemon Auras, and all that stuff, those things are going to be completed quickly. As you guys have already noticed, I am actually posting videos on them daily. I'm actually thinking of posting extra videos on Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu throughout the weekend. That way you guys can get more of a daily dose. So, you know, I'm doing my best, guys. Recording, editing, all that stuff, it takes its time, it takes its toll, but hey, guess what? It's, uh, yeah, it, it's it's doing wonders. It's actually coming out perfectly, and, uh, well, that's why you're getting all those videos right there, guys. So, look at that. Defeated another person, and, well, we're going to be battling everybody, and look at that. I'm getting a text message right now. Good golly. All right, let's go ahead and battle while I take a look at who is texting me. Alright. Let's go, Firo. And I need to keep this shut. And well, here we go. Let's go right ahead. And 
go with a Thunderbolt right here and uh, go right here and uh, you know what? Screw it, Dark Pulse. Really don't care. And well, look at that. Thunderbolt does its trick. You knew it could do it. Yeah. And well, of course Mew's not going to be attacking or anything like that just because, you know, Sparky destroys everybody. But look at this. We're going up against a Pidgeot. Yeah, off screen I did evolve one of my Pidgeotos or yeah, one of my Pidgeotos into perfect like that's that had perfect stats. I actually evolved it into a Pidgeot just so I could fill up the Pokédex. One thing that is very very cool about this game too, guys, is that you can complete the Pokédex here, uh, not just by you know capturing uh, just capturing the regular Pokémon and their evolved forms, but by trading them. And uh, well, it's gonna be it's gonna be very rather easy for me to do right here. So. Eventually, this probably will be the first game that I will be completing its Pokédex, so it's going to be pretty cool right there. So, let's go right ahead and uh, continue on right here, battling all the punks. Come on, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go! Very impulsive, very quickly right there, so... Let's go right ahead and take on Punk Guy Harvey, and... Coming out with the Raticade. Okay. Alrighty. Alrighty, and uh, well, we're gonna probably switch it up after this one right here, guys. Probably want to see some other Pokemon right here. So let's go with a double kick, and let's go with Seismic Toss. Okay, and yes, we avoided that thing, and here we go, double kick. Takes care of that, Raticate. <laughs> wow, this Pikachu is a very good one right there. It is actually in love with me. And of course, we're missing attacks right here, so here we go again with another Raticade. Let's go ahead and use another Double Kick and go with the Seismic Toss right here. Alrighty, look at that. Raticade defeated. Oh my god. Okay, alrighty. And, well, there's that victory right there. Now, what I'm going to try and do is I'm actually going to try and switch out Pokemon right here because, uh, I think Mew de Uno and Pikachu has done their job correctly. So let's go ahead and use Leonardo and Dragonair now. Again, the goal is to try and evolve Dragonair into Dragonite and then move on from here. So let's go ahead and battle one of the other punks right here. And he wants the Rumble. Speaking of Rumble, it doesn't necessarily go with the Rumble, but a few months ago, when this whole pandemic started, I went, gee, I wonder how many uh, sentences started with that. Um, I did post up on my channel that I will try and be coming out with new games like Pokemon uh, Coliseum. I do have that game, guys. I really do. The only thing that was stopped, more the only thing that's stopping me from playing that game is that you know uh, the recording process. It looks like to me that it might be post com rather than live com because. In some games that I record through a capture card right here, which is my Hop Sentry HD 1080 uh, 1080p, uh, the volume usually kind of regulates when I, you know, put the microphone on and everything. But when it, it comes to a Nintendo GameCube, that yeah, that's a whole different story, and you can't really hear me. You can't really hear anything. So, chances are that might be a postcom kind of game, the second of its kind that you know. I've had in this channel since restarting it. The only thing is, I don't know when I'm going to start with that game because, you know, playing this, not really familiar with that. And, yeah, I'm pretty sure many of you guys are anticipating that right there. So here we go, another battle, tag teaming, with uh, the good team of Dragonair and Leonardo. So let's go with the Scald right here, and let's go Dragon Rage. Alrighty. Both Team Rocket members kicking butt, taking name, and here comes that Scald attack just to beat up on Butthead. And there it goes. Look at that. Okay, so we're, we're finishing off with these guys rather quickly. And Gerald has been defeated. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, we got more punks to go on. They are not CM punks, though. That's right. <laughs> Okay, so here we go, another punk. And who is this guy? Felix the Cat. You guys ever watch that that show? Felix the Cat? It's a pretty fun show. 
So let's go Leonardo and Dragonair. And well, let's go right ahead and scald this guy and let's go and thunderbolt this guy. Okay, so it will get wet. It might get shocked. Look at that. And here comes that scald attack. Finish this guy off. There we go. The good tag team of Dragonair and Blastoise. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. And Felix has been defeated. I feel good. I feel dang, dang good. All right. Let's move on to the next thing. And there is no item right there, but we will be finding some Pokemon and Cue Ball right here. I love my, my Pokemon, but it won't evolve. Why? I don't know. Maybe you're on. The, maybe you're on the hookah or something. I don't know. Alrighty. So let's go ahead and go with Roughneck Zeke. Alrighty, let's get this. Well, the reason you can't evolve this Pokemon is because you need to trade it. You really do. So, get on it, homeboy. So, let's go right here and go with the Dragon Rage. So, same deal. Let's go. Get it. So, there we go again. And Scald Attack does it. And there goes the Machoke. And <laughs> Mewtwo grows to level 50, and Zeke has been defeated. He's not happy at all. Okay, so let's see. There is an item right there that I kind of want to get. Now, this place right here is very notorious to find, where you can actually find Chanseys. Now, again, Chansey may not be the most strong po strongest Pokemon, but in the terms of uh, getting your Pokemon leveled up, it is the right Pokemon to, uh, to get. So do not miss out on that guy. And, well, we're going to switch out our Pokemon again. Let's go right ahead and use, let's see, Smasher and Sand Slash. Pair them up and see what happens right here. Wait, did I already battle this guy? Oh, yeah, I already defeated this guy. He's, uh, she's talking to me about the legendary Pokemon. And, well, let's go right ahead and go to this guy right here. Or this chick. Wow, it's the same chick. Grabbing this item, and we got ourselves a Hyper Potion. Always a, a needed item, and we're gonna be looking at this guy. Let, let not it be okay. Let's go. Alrighty. So we meet again. Bird Keeper Benny wants the battle, and here comes that Pidgeotto. Not so strong, but we got Smasher, and we got Sand Slash, Ice type, Steel type. We got some tanks on the. We got some pretty good tanks, so let's go with a Fire Punch right here, and, well, let's go with a Slash Attack. Oh, wow, I could have used Ice Punch. Fire and Ice, Fire and Ice right here. Look at that, okay. Okay, so Fire and Ice, That's that should be the move right there, since Smasher is a little faster than uh, Sand Slash. And, well, she's coming out with a Fero. I am ready for you. Okay, so, again, Fire. And let's go with ice. Alrighty, let's go. Fire. Yes, sir. And here comes ice. Never mind. But of course, it's trying to get faster right there. So here we go. Ice. Yeah, buddy. Vero has done it. Okay, look at that. I'm kicking butt, taking names. And Sand Slash grows to level 47. Okay, so I think I paired up, uh, I, I got some good pairs of Pokemon right there, and Benny has been defeated. I am very happy. Very, very happy. And, well, let us move on right here. And, well, we got one more Pokemon trainer right there, which, uh, you know what? That's the beginning of this whole stair, or this, those, that whole area right there. So, we're going to pause the game right here, guys. In the next episode, we're going to be completing the whole route 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. You know, you guys know what I'm talking about. We're going to be going through this whole area and, you know, taking care of more business. So, thank you guys again for watching. I will see you guys next time.